is Tuesday. And welcome everybody to another installment of the Morning After Pill Show. I am your host, Chris, along with Victor. Why do you go with the word installment? I like it, but where did you go? I don't know. I just feel like episode has been played out for a while. I know. It just sounds... Out of all of the words that you use to describe things, you went with installment for each segment or each episode or whatever. See, now you're dropping segments on this whole conversation, so... I mean, I gotta... Maybe that'll be used next time. Segments are a little broken down. I'm not really sure what we... We have hour-long segments? We can call them chapters. You can have hour-long segments. Sessions. Sessions, cool. Sessions. That just reminds me of, like, like getting together to smoke a weed with a bunch of friends. Like, oh, let's have a smoke like sesh. Like a smoke sesh, yeah. Let's have a smoke sesh, bro. <laughs> a sesh. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so this episode we had Mr. Clifton Simmons joined us, sat with us for a little while, brought his brought his five-year-old daughter. She's she, cool. She was cool. They were both cool. It was a great episode. Clifton I think. was cool. I really enjoyed Yeah. I really enjoyed him being you on know, the show. You guys connected very well. It was cool. cool to see. And, you know, made a, we made a friend today. The podcast made a friend yes. today. Yes. Because I, I can tell he had a good time. Yeah. So that means by rules of podcasting and listeners that the listeners are going to have a good time. They don't have a fucking choice now. You're going to no. fucking enjoy it. Yeah, the mini, time, mini press play is just going to be on. Yeah, you're just going to wait for us to finish talking. And, and if you're it. waiting for us to finish talking now, it's going to be like another Well, it's, it's a bad time to do that because right now we're going to have to do what we call plugs. Yeah, guys, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whichever one you use daily, prefer... It's Maps Podcast. Lie on whatever. On Instagram. Social media. Should we just get rid of the underscore for Twitter and just Maps Podcast it all the way through? Makes it easier to just say it. Because dragging yeah. it out for so long, just it's Maps underscore Podcast for Twitter if you follow us on Twitter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just. I mean, you can do it. I mean, that's cool. Maps Podcast all the way across the board. You know what I mean? There you yeah. go. So you heard it, ladies, and we're dropping on the score coming tomorrow. Yeah, or soon. Actually, you like don't even right know, now. It's, I mean, it, it takes like ten seconds. Yeah. Well, by the time they hear it, it's already gonna be changed. So it's already like changed. Talk about it because now they know. Now you can just type it in the way. We and that was our plug. There it is. <laughs> if you're listening to us on iTunes, please be sure <laughs> to hit. Is it subscribe? Subscribe. Hit subscribe. And follow, follow. Like it, and comment. Let above. us know what you think. There's new review. Yeah. Even if it's bad. Send us an email. Yeah. Give us five stars and then tell us why you didn't like it. Hit us up on Facebook if you have any suggestions. We're gonna we're actually working on the murder episode. That's right. Which is gonna be super fun because we'll have we'll have someone here yeah. for it. Not an expert. No. By any means. No, by Neither any one means. of us are gonna be experts. By any fucking means. Another podcaster though. Yeah. So. Uh cool dude, funny guy. You'll enjoy him. But we're not talking about him. We're going to be listening to Mr. Clifton Simmons. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Enjoy as much as we did. And take it away. Booms are the last wish of the day. Shimmer. Zip it, lap it, yep. put it in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes Zip it, lock it, put it this in your pocket. This is how you pocket. put it on them. This is how you put it on. You. I know that already. Yeah, you know I that. have a phone. I wish y'all would be on Facebook Live. I shouldn't be eating them in <laughs> What up? We're on morning after pill. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's all right. This is not the introduction, is it? <laughs> no, we do our own introduction okay. later. We just just talk. Don't worry yeah. about it. You're but good. I guess we'll start your introduction. Clifton fucking Simmons. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. It's about time. Yeah, it's about time. I get to be on your podcast. Yeah, it's an honor. It's an honor to have me here. Uh, You can find him on... Clifton is funny. That's everything, right? Mm -hmm. That's on everything. That's Twitter, Instagram, your Facebook. Facebook, everything. It's even at CliftonIsFunny.com, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Haven't paid the bill yet, but, you know. Yeah, so it's not (laughs) .com. (laughs) Once I pay you the bill, it will be Clifton is funny. You can Google search him and see all his DWIs and... For real? No. <laughs> we made that up, but I mean, now now you got to explain. The world knows. Now the world knows. <laughs> okay. So, I was 21. 
They got a job promotion at Fernandez Honda. Honda. I had I was already doing comedy, but it was like a hobby. And I drove. I was leaving this place called Paradise. Mm-hmm. And that was a time period where there was an alcoholic beverages called Juice. It was an energy drink, and it was an alcoholic drink. It had like <laughs> eight point something yeah, alcohol. Yeah, that shit was like forty like, proof. <laughs> and I drank like, like four locos. Yeah, yeah, I drank two of those and smoked a couple of blunts, and I drove on to Fort Sam Houston <laughs> after leaving that place. I, I I wasn't driving crazy. Yeah, I wasn't belligerent. Just the fact that you went in there. Uh, when you go onto Fort Sam Houston, there's these things like a barricade type thing. Yeah. And when I realized I was on there, I was like, oh, I can't turn around. So I was like, fuck it. When I get to the top, I'll tell them, hey, I made a wrong turn. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, bust a Uyi. And that's what I did. I was like, let me bust a Uyi. He said, uh, have you been drinking, sir? I was like, uh, I had a couple of drinks a, a while ago, but I'm good. Uh, I've been straight. Oh, he's like, that's no problem. Cool. Uh Will you be willing to take a sobriety test? I was like, hell yeah, I'll take a sobriety test because I was good, right? <laughs> and so, boom, boom, everything that they ask you to do. Oh, you're killing it. I'm killing it. Where I messed up at was he was like, all right, you passed the sobriety test. All we need to do is have you blow and you're free to go. <laughs> uh, I was like, hell yeah, I'll blow. Uh, the one thing to tell you <laughs> not to do. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and... Yeah, that was it. That was, got, it. that was it. And that was it. Um, they ripped my car to pieces. They had scraped up. Uh, they couldn't find nothing, but they, I wasn't even smoking around that time. They scraped up every little crumb and made like enough for like a cigarello. I was like, that's talented. Yeah. I, wish I can do that. Like, dude, like just that, searching off through just the rip, carpet. Yeah, off literally <laughs> off and searching through the carpet. That got dismissed. That the that charge got dismissed. Yeah. But that's ridiculous. They still tried you with it. They yeah. tried. That's they tried up. to. I was like, that's "What the hell?" Completely fucked up. Like, see, it's kind of funny though that <laughs> the cops are better at gathering the weed. That you know what I mean. Like, you know how many times I've wanted to do that. Like, I know there's just weed just lying around everywhere. But they're more dedicated, they're searching <laughs> to like incarcerate you. That's definitely their job. Well, right? we're like, yeah, just it's three the weed to- man for another fucking dime, and we're good to go. Oh, oh, is that a beat? <laughs> hey, it beats. Yeah, but um, yeah, no. I <laughs> that is a horrible fucking thing to do to somebody. Like they tried to get you on something that you had no power over. And then uh um, vacuumed. So I, <laughs> true. So you could have vacuumed. From there, I had uh it was it wasn't like it was Bear County. It was on base, so it was federal charge. So damn. Yeah, it was a federal charge. Lucky you. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't realize how lucky I was yeah. until like recently. Yeah. How much of a blessing cuz it doesn't come up. I had to go through 1 year of probation and it was deferred judification, but because of me not knowing uh what deferred judification meant, I thought I had to be <laughs> all these years. Yeah. <laughs> I was banned from Camp Bullis and uh, Fort Sam Houston for like five years. I mean, That's did fine. you really miss it though? <laughs> right? <laughs> no, because people have. It was like your first time ever there, and it was just because you wanted to bust the Yui. Yeah. yeah. My bad. So, lesson learned don't bust no, the Yui on government people, property. Reverse. <laughs> but people, people be having um, funerals at Fort Sam Houston. Yeah. People going to the hospital at Bamsey. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, I would have to like <laughs> relative dies like it's at the base. Yeah, There's some flowers. I still, I you still went while I was on probation for one. Uh, I was like, are they checking people at the at the gate? They're like, nah. I was like, cool, I'm going. Wow. <laughs> no, but uh, it's that easy. That's Imagine that charge. DWI story. Yeah. <laughs> um, I turned around in a fire department in like Seguin one time and. I think I, I ended up leaving my truck there. It was like right after I got my truck. I was too risky. And they fucking let me go. They were like, you can go just, leave you know, your truck here? leave your truck here. I was like, so just walk. They're like, you can call someone. We're that's not a, giving you a ride. <laughs> I was like, dope. That's a blessing. Because right. Because again, like right. they could use that money. But it was because of the, because I parked it at the fire. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know the law that well. I guess we all should, but fucking we're all ignorant about it. Like, because I parked it over there. I've I, only gotten pulled over like a couple times that. Were close calls, but 
I, I've gotten blessed with. Uh, I got pulled over twice by the same cop a year apart on the same area. That's funny. That was funny. Well, what did you have? What's your uh, best blessing? My best blessing was besides that. I got two, but I don't know if they'll be funny for the podcast. Fair enough. One, it might be funny. Uh, you can make it funny. One, uh, it was like around. It, I used to be married to a Jewish girl. And we all have, yeah, we've all done that. Yeah, I was married to a Jewish girl. <laughs> What's wrong? I got my daughter in the building. You don't, <laughs> you, you don't want to be camera girl? Oh. All right. <laughs> all right cool i love the honesty of so i yeah. used to be with a jewish girl and um it was around the time for the holidays and um you mean hanukkah <laughs> no nah, there's there another there's another one uh like we said the holidays yeah it was, it's like around passover okay but like there's a during passover where probably a lot of people don't realize there's so many other holidays that are going on around around that time period and all her Jewish relatives were like annoying as fuck, but and it, it really <laughs> was annoying. But I went to an open mic that was in that Jewish community in San Antonio over there off of um, Blanco Military Highway. Yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a whole Jewish, Jewish community. Yeah. There's a whole Jewish community, right? There's like 24 of them, people. And uh, <laughs> at this open mic, it was uh, comics could drink all they wanted, and I got so fucked up. And I was younger, like I wouldn't do this now, but I was fucked up. And so I went to go stay at my mom's house because, once again, it's the holidays. All the Jewish relatives were in town and shit. Yeah. I was like, why they can't hide in the attic and shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw one out there. That is dope. So I drive home. I'm driving home to my mom's. I'm in Castle Hills. And the dude pulls me over. And he's like, where are you coming from? Of course, I'm not going to tell him I'm coming from a bar. I'm coming from my apartment. The, uh which is in the Jewish community. I told him where it was at, and I was like, man, my wife's Jewish. They're being annoying as fuck, and he just laughed and let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked up, though. I was fucked up that night. I just had to get away. He was like, enough said, sir. Do you want a police escort? <laughs> yeah. the he should No, but he... Can't, once again, like, Seguin, it's Castle Hills. He should have... Castle Hills need they need that money, so he could have had just got me. He could. He let me go, and then uh, the second time I was with Polly Shore, I was uh, driving Polly Shore, and I was real messed up, and they let me go. Cause Polly Shore, I don't know. Like I said, I think it was God. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the two. <laughs> it was one of the two. They're like, oh shit, Polly Shore. All right, fuck it. Nice. That's the that's that comedy store connection right there. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> what else y'all want to talk about? Well, did you wash your hands this week? Yes. What are your several th times? What are your thoughts, man? Are you my are you in panic, are, man? Are you? No, I'm not in panic not because I got the Most High on my side, and uh, so you didn't stockpile toilet paper. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Um, Cause if it ever gets down to that point, we got leaves. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we have running water and soap, I'm like I'll use a hand. No, <laughs> fuck it, dude. Really? I mean, if you have to get down to it. Yeah. This is my thing. Yeah. What about um, my thing is, oh, I forgot where I was going with this. We're talking about the coronavirus. Yes, <laughs> but it's really just the flu, though. Yeah, yeah. It's not even as strong as the flu. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know and within where, a certain age group. I know where I was going with it when I had that little mental note. Um, Wish dot com. Is it safe to order from there? Because a lot of that shit comes. <laughs> yeah. Probably, Probably not. It was never safe to order from there. <laughs> you can't even get iPhones right now. For real? Yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. get them in stores or anything. Yeah, he had to get from his from the states. Wow. Because they won't ship. They're saying that the delivery for the Xbox and PS5s are going to be on hold. It might even be coming out later because they're worried about the coronavirus. What the fuck? They're canceling, like, South by Southwest. They canceled. Yeah, they're dude. canceling all they're kinds canceling. of shit. Yeah, they just, I, I, I don't think they should cancel Fiesta. Because the flu. Are you a Fiesta fan? That place drives me nuts. Um, Growing up, I was. I haven't. For me, for me, for me, I hurt because I'm a comedian. Yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes Fiesta hurts my money because <laughs> everybody wants to go to... Everybody want to be outside around that time. 
There's so much free shit going showcase, on. I've been, showcase that Fiesta. I didn't know. No one's else. not gonna come. I bro. know, right? I know, right? You thought about it already. <laughs> there's already there's too many events they they gotta go to already. Yeah, that's I've true. been to a few Fiestas and how has it not like gotten bigger? It's still like that little locked in like. <laughs> it's the same. You figure like at some point they're like, all right, they'll give you an extra block this year, mm-hmm. but it's always fucking packed, and it's still the same little like Heritage Square area. Like, oh, so, I don't know something about it like the the whole spirit. I, I like I I enjoy the day parade. Right on. Yeah, okay, that's with fine. the family. Yeah, I used to go to college night for Niosa and try to pull hoes. <laughs> now, yeah. like, Fiesta was my first cougar. For hey. sure. For sure, I got a couple big girls at Fiesta. Before, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's Why that's not pull the chicken. That's low hanging fruit, man. I've never pulled a chicken Fiesta. Nyosa kiss. Yeah, <laughs> try it. It's not hard. All you gotta do is just say hey. Hey, that's it. <laughs> yeah, just show up around eleven when everyone's here's nice five, and toasty. Here's five tickets. Let's go grab a taco. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's. Fun. <laughs> I think it's just. I think it's just something that they gotta create. They create a. A panic about. Oh, I think it's the news that's really pushing this coronavirus. Well, we got an election thing. going on, oh, and everyone's throwing that conspiracy theory. On too, that. Yeah, and I seen that yeah. that little meme thing. Every four years, there's a new virus. Well, it's like every year technically there's a new virus, but the like major one comes out every four years. I don't know. I was watching that <laughs> press conference, man. I don't know. <laughs> that press conference that was going on, we had like people from the CDC going up saying. Yeah, if you can avoid the flu, you can definitely avoid coronavirus. And oh, okay. you probably it's didn't really, get the flu. It's really only serious in like really young kids and like anybody over fifty. Oh, thirty five apparently. Whatever, dude. That's so, but I've been hearing it, yeah, I've been hearing what he been saying though. Yeah, over fifty? Yeah, like el- el- who, elderly the and who was 30, the one guy who was thirty five was the guy that like <clears throat> What's that movie with Bill Murray where he doesn't Osmosis Jones? Oh, okay. Who doesn't shower? He's like the dirtiest person alive. That guy. Fair enough. Is the one thirty-five year old that had got coronavirus. Wasn't that also Chris Rock? He played the little cartoon. Dude. Yeah, Chris Rock played the cartoon. Oh, you're talking That's about funny. Bill Murray. I mostly don't. Really no, honestly, I mostly <laughs> I wish we would have like I was on the peak of becoming a like a teenager around Osmosis Jones. They should have came out with that like. Right now, I learned a lot. I learned a lot off that. I wish that would have came out as a, I when I was a young, young me, kid. I think that movie made me OCD. Do you? I think dude, that's what. OCD. I think that's what it is. Like the pills. Be <laughs> <laughs> After watching that movie, that's how I feel like there's like a whole community oh, yeah. inside me. Damn, you know? they're just chilling. We'll get Neil deGrasse Tyson next time. He'll break it down for us. <laughs> so all that shit that's inside you is the whole universe. Why they can't have an actual city with flying cars? Yeah. I mean, there probably is. Probably in yours. Yeah, this sure. guy drinks Mountain Dew, and that's pretty much it. Doesn't even water, like no water, nothing. Look and look at him, dude. Like if I had his diet, sugar. I would like. I drink water. I blow up like a the owner of a Chinese restaurant. All fucking fat faced. Do they get like Two, that? I don't know. All I don't that MSG. I've never seen a Chinese oh. restaurant where the managers are fat, dude. All that MSG. I don't know how many rest- Chinese restaurants I've gotten into, but I don't think I've ever seen a fat like Chinese worker. I don't know where I'm getting it from. This weed. That's pretty much what Just it is. Making shit up. So you got you got a show coming up, right? Like Tony G. I have or a lot of shows coming True. up. True. I have um, South Chicken and Waffles on the 22nd this upcoming weekend. I'll be in Houston okay. Improv. Dopest name ever, the, by the way. Which one? The first, the waffles one. South chicken and waffles. Yeah. Hey. Y'all can hop on that if y'all want to come out. Uh, when is it again? I'm sorry. I the, lost that part. <laughs> Sunday, the 22nd, around 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. It's a day. It's going to be a day party. We'll have mimosas and shit. Word. But y'all can come out and do some time. Family oriented or no? I don't think it's family oriented. I think. Okay. believe it's like 18 and 0. All right. Okay. Good. Good, we can do that. But I do like family oriented. <laughs> I got a like still a ratchet. I got a you know, daughter. Yeah, you know. it's like one of those places where you just have that big table and everybody sits there as a family. Like yeah, so barbecue places. That's where I got March twenty second in San Antonio, and then I'll be on, in Houston from the twelfth through the fifteenth this Word. weekend. Word. And so I'm excited working with Preacher Lawson. This is epic. I gotta be clean. Really? He's a, he's a TV clean kind of guy. Oh. So. The name uh, sounds familiar. From well, America's Got Talent? Preacher Lawson? Yeah. Because of your last name, or oh, you just Lord. heard it before? No, it's because of my last name. Oh. 
I thought you actually met this guy. Yeah. We're not religious folks, so a preacher. We oh. probably never met. That's his first name. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name. That's his, That's name. his whole whole name. <sighs> this forehead sweat means nothing now. That's funny. <laughs> so, 22nd, South Chicken and Waffles. The 25th, I'm at uh, Hop and Vine. Right. And that's going to be more of a showcase. People can reserve tables. It's free to get in, but they can reserve a table. We're going to be popping bottles. Ooh. It's a wine place. Um, the 28th, I'll be at Tony G Soul Food. Right. You know, you're just featured, right? I'm featuring. It's gonna be fun. Hell yeah! I'm gonna kill it. Hell it's yeah! It's gonna be a black <laughs> crowd. Kill it. They're gonna be like, oh, you know, if things shit. don't go well. I feel like a place like that, you can just straight up just do karaoke. Especially, this, I'll, I'll, especially him. This guy sings in his car like a 18 year old girl, like in the summer. Like, I'll, like I've seen you just go off in your car on on Instagram. I'm gonna take your advice <laughs> and try that there. Yeah. You just, know what I'm saying? Because it can go, it can go, it's hit or miss <laughs> with me when it comes. It, this is going to be on the downtown east side. Yeah. And so it's hit or miss with me when it comes to a black audience. Yeah. They either love me or they hate me. Because I, I'm not like a BT comic view, Def Jam. Oh, okay. Black people, we got <laughs> bad credit and we like fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the stereotypical black comedy. No. Joke. No. My baby mama this and my baby mama that. Ha! I think he's got more material like that than you do. <laughs> no, but like people see me and they, they, they see, oh, it's a black comic. And sometimes they have expectations of the kind of comedy that I'm going to do. And I mean, then you're not that. And I'm not that. Yeah. And so sometimes, because uh, I'm very, I'm very, I have awkward comedy. And, uh, Sometimes some people follow me and they see what my social media is like and then they see my comedy. Kind of like, uh, what's his name from Full House? Uh, Saget? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm You see him comic. on Full House? Yeah, <laughs> then when you saying. hear his comedy, you're like, what the fuck? You just said dick 14 times in two minutes. <laughs> Jesus. He is, yeah, he's a whole... He's got dick jokes down though. And so some he's people, dead. yeah, some people are not ready for what they about to expect. Yeah, no one understood that when Full House was popular, that Bob Saget was one of the dirtiest comedians before he actually went on. Yeah, it was his look, and he continued afterward. But he was just that skinny, tall, nerdy, dad-looking guy, and they were like, "Hey, can you be nice?" Yeah, it was just his, like, look. Sure. It's his look. <laughs> I didn't know that. What, yeah, is that somewhere? Yeah, like, like somebody, somebody that he knew, like. Like, was like, hey, you look like a dad. They got him to do this part because of just like him, his look. Yeah, dog. Yeah, that's crazy. That's it. Like the only roles you'll get are probably like thug. You know what I mean? Uh, black guy that speaks Spanish. No, they're gonna be or talk, that talks about dying first. Be a coach. Yeah. See, <laughs> yeah. there you go. A coach. Someone step <laughs> like a stepdad. Yeah. yeah. Never the actual dad though. They don't. Yeah. They don't get that role. Yeah, you gotta have abs for that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. You gotta have the Will Smith look. Yeah. Uh, Jamie Fox. Yep, they all look the same to me. Did I just say that? I really just said that. They all wow. look the same. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, man. Career destroying I'll never, podcast. I'll never be allowed to say. That. <laughs> Damn. So you grew up, like we have this opposite about us because you grew up on the west side, right? Nah. Yeah. See, I don't even do that. Nah. I grew up on the east side. Okay. So cool, like, cool, cool. and the way you want to look at it, like little switch route. Because uh, I was made honorary by a few people, but only in small locations. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, like two, two parts, parts of the east side that like you're considered yeah i'm considered like black from the waist up yeah yeah they're like it's cool yeah. bro i know yeah he's all <laughs> i see it now so i want to get to this i was mentioning you fucking singing in your car like crazy this dude one time just going off going off and i was watching i was getting ready for work and i was watching like like you know the instagram feed just goes on and on i see this guy just going on live and he fucking stops to help somebody jump their car. I was like, fucking dope. That, I don't think anybody else saw it. Do you remember that day? 
I don't even know what you're talking about. You were on your <laughs> you were on your Instagram just singing. You told and, me about it, but yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't remember ever doing that. Yeah, you like pulled over, like you ended it right as you got out of the car. But I was like, he just pulled over to help someone, and like no <laughs> one is acknowledging. This I right. wish I would have had caught that. No, I wish. I, hey, maybe you misinterpreted hey. jump. <laughs> Maybe he had to go. Hey, what's up, big baby? Somebody. I'm a good citizen to society. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and pull. I'm gonna help this guy with his jump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Whoop de Like you say that, I, it, it makes me wish that I would have had thought to like. Hey, I'm a doing a good <laughs> deed. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? Give me my reward and tell me that I'm a good person. <laughs> I need it now. Where's my badge? I mean, I really don't know what to say to it. Go, no, I, I, I probably that is something I do because I've been stranded. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, everyone's. I think everyone has that good people in them, but it's so much funner to just I, <laughs> just act like you don't give a fuck. At least, no, nah, I won't help anybody on the side of the road anymore. Yeah, it does. It does. I, bite I, pull, I pulled over to help this lady on like I four in Orlando one time, dude, and like she got into her car and was like, "I'm good." I was like, "I'm." Definitely not something that's threatening at all. And I was like, I'm just here to help you change your tiles. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to be careful. For me. I'm good. Yeah, I got. I, I do got. I, I do got to be careful with it. Um, well, it yeah, really, that's true. Honestly, <laughs> the spirit. <laughs> honestly, the spirit just does it for me. I don't just go. I don't just do it. Yeah. But when I do it, the, something's telling me to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> something told me to help this lady, but she just yeah. Like, she basically told me to fuck myself and my good deed. That's always fun. That's nice. I mean, yeah. you, it look for your look. It looks like the wind can kill you. Yeah. Like you have a closer chance of dying from heart disease than anything else. Like you just look really weak sometimes. I don't know why she was threatened. And this was you younger, right? You were smaller then. Yeah. See, I was like twenty. She's tripping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, My good deeds always go unanswered. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you vote? Um, I'm not gonna vote. Not gonna vote. You know what? Because fuck the system, right? You talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you asking about the city, the city vote, and just in general? Do you? I vote. Any of it? I don't vote for like you know the bigger stuff, but yeah. I will vote for like the person that's in our district, well, the one which is District Eight, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is our district because we live in the same. I district. have no clue. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I vote for stuff like that because it needs some <laughs> potholes, maybe. To, right. Um, sometimes I'm friends with a lot of those guys, but I don't really believe in the whole president thing. You know, I know I'm weird. Yeah, you're the only one who thinks that. Really? Yeah. No, you're sarcastic. Oh, I was like, what? I I honestly, I feel. Maybe I have to work on I my feel, sarcasm. Yeah, you look like he was for real. <laughs> really good at that. I nah, I just kind of feel, and I could be wrong, and I hope that I'm wrong. Yeah. I feel like the Democratic Party and the Republican Party work together. They're the same party. Yeah, I'm like, I, agree. I feel like it, keep, it keeps other parties from coming in because there's more parties than Democrat and Republican. Yeah. But I think a long time ago they said, hey, let's work together. We'll always be able to do it. And we either y'all will get it or we'll get it. You know what I'm saying? That makes They're sense. They're either going to get fucked in the ass like with no lube or they're gonna get fucked in the ass it's like that and watch themselves get fucked in the ass with lube you know what I'm yeah. saying I feel like it's too soulless for that like they're 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 pegging us it's just there's no there's no meat it's all rubber and just getting pegged not even yeah and anyone can do it too you can do it in and, I, and, I, and, I, and I don't <laughs> tell I don't really tell everybody my political views like that yeah. because People do get all weird, and yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. They do but, get weird. That, that's the saddest thing is that if we react that way, like, for instance, if you take sugar away from a kid for a little while, or give them sugar for the first time, their reactions are pretty crazy, right? Like, that's not a normal reaction. So I look at it this way: like, if we're acting that way with politics and becoming animals about everything, like maybe we should fucking step back, act and, like and, fucking and, people. And the reason why I have this outlook is because you know I have did deeper research on the people that different people that have been running over the right. years, and what they'll do is they'll get you excited about one thing, but if you really look at what this person is actually about and what you're voting for, yeah. Sometimes it's like demonic type shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So these people are down to do some fucked up shit. It's just 
Let you know, on. they hype you up with, oh, free health care. It's always, it's every year when they vote for president or whatever, or every four years, it's always the same exact topics every year, just revamped and reworded every year. Absolutely. It's always taxes. Like, it's always health care. So you figure at, at this point with, what, 52 presidents? Yeah. At some point, we would have gotten health care <laughs> down by now. That's yeah. like 200 years, 300 years of fucking so, history that... And what, I, and what I hate the most is, like, I'm kind of woke, and sometimes, like, I'm a little too woke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I had, I was, because, you know, me being black, I'm, like, is, basically you? taught to, uh, well, I'm a so-called black person, because we all know that black is a color. Yeah. That's a whole nother topic. <laughs> but me being of African-American black descent... I'm t I'm basically told to vote Democratic, and I just I want to know I'm I like to do research. Why are so many black people because voting Democratic? Because supposedly the Democratic Party is what's looking out for middle class and lower class. Yeah, people. right. So that's Republican, a class thing. And Republican is yeah. That's how they like. Per, that's how they want. And so to yeah, proceed, basically. So they're always like Democrat, Democrat. Now there's a lot of African American like comedians or actors and stuff like that that are like. Strong Republicans. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I just wanted to I mean, know why. Kanye. Why? Yeah, I wanted to know why are people of my descent Democratic? So I started doing research and stuff, and and that just kind of blew me off the water. Like, like, damn, you know what I mean? And then I did research on Republicans, and to me, I feel like I said, and that's what brought me to my conclusion: it's they work together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yep, they all go well, party together on the island. They, the fucking the rules used girls. to be reversed back in the day. Republicans, yeah, the like Martin Luther King, Malcolm like, X was a Republican. Everything kind of like switched at some point. That's what I'm saying. Like, 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 I, that's what those are the stuff like I would come from. Democrat back then before it switched though. Nah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I think they're going with. It's the way things are marketed and shit. Absolutely, <laughs> you know absolutely, saying? man. They're brain fucking us. Well, the, I mean, somebody's getting like. Let me get this out real, 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 real well. We're supposed to be panicking about a virus, but yet everyone is still making it out to these fucking like democratic, like well, Bernie like, Sanders and shit like that. Like you know what I mean? Like it's pretty much dropped out now, haven't they? It's like it's pretty much like there's a clear front runner nowadays. At least a couple. No, I think we're still in the few early stages. Who do you all think that can go against Warren or whatever back down and someone else? Only, back down. only person that can go up against Trump would have to be like another celebrity, like a Oprah, or and she's not going to do it, but it would have to be. I don't know. I mean, another. Four you think years, Biden? We just have to, to wait it out another four years. We can vote Kanye. <laughs> but that's what they're doing. Don't forget his. Don't forget his presidential plan for twenty twenty four. No, but no, like they're, they're really worried. If not him, his wife is going to run. Start paying it. Oh, wait, wait. Let's check this out. Let's say Donald Trump wins again, right? Right? Okay. Then the, the next presidential election, Kanye wins, makes Trump his fucking vice president. How mind fucked would you be then? I think Kim has a better chance. <laughs> I don't know. And then that's, that's all. You I think you've only ran for president and you've served your term, so you can run your full eight years. But where does it say in the bylaws that you can't be a vice president because you're not technically filling the same seat? Can you imagine? I'm not going to get off the Kim thing. Can you imagine that as being the first lady? She's visiting prisons right now. Yeah. Like she's doing, like, if you notice, she's been more covered up lately. Yep. Yeah, there's a plan. It's not even a theory anymore. <laughs> it's I'm just saying. <laughs> like I'm, I'm paying attention to these things. It, it may not be. You are woke. It may not be in 2024, but Kim, either Kim or Kanye is going to run for president. They're going to run against and, You know what I'm saying? 20 years from now, they're going to be like, damn, this nigga Cliff was on the Morning After Pill podcast <laughs> talking about this shit. <laughs> and and the reason why friends. I said, do you know, do you like, but like, are you noticing things that how Kim is like, She's getting more political involved. Yeah, she's like distancing herself from her family because they're all fucking crazy. And she finally starting to realize, like, yo, my family's pretty fucked up. I'm a distance. No, that's definitely a PR person telling her to do that. Yeah, that's definitely um, like she's got guidance. They're, they're changing the image a little bit yeah. different. Kanye is gonna run for president. She's gonna be first. Kanye lady. got Republican fans. He has. He crossed over the, the whole Christian fans. 
And then niggas, we just support <laughs> shit. So he got he got black like, man, college dropout was my shit. I'm voting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, there's some people that are not going to get down with Kanye, but I'm just saying you got people. Yeah, college dropout was my shit. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So he, he and then white people fuck with him. So, you know what I'm saying? Because like, dude, did you get his presidential Yeezys? Dog! <laughs> bro. 1500 bucks Holy shit. Just so <laughs> For one <laughs> yeah, no. Wait is there a way That we can like Get, like, get that down So if he does Try to make presidential Yeah that's his line anyway We couldn't sue his ass Like that's our idea Watch it come out Whoa the person He can listen to this podcast And be like you know what Fuck We have, we have thrown his name out idea. Enough for it no. to like Ping You can uh You can You can, you can uh I'm gonna suggest you could buy the you could buy the domain uh, presidential Yeezys because <laughs> the person that had someone had made a domain trying to sell them bitches someone made a domain uh, Kanye for president like a long time ago and that website is now worth like millions oh, yeah. people are trying to buy it off I need to get on that shit what yeah weird you can Google it weird. after the podcast fuck it I'm gonna Google it now I'm gonna make it happen <laughs> after the podcast I want that name <laughs> pay me son what we're selling shit what did it cost us for ours like a hundred bucks yeah <laughs> yeah a couple <laughs> hundred yeah. Yeah. dude I'm just gonna start coming up with creative ass shit and then I'm gonna put it out there that that's what they should do so when they do it I can sue <laughs> like a catch 22 uh you're genius you're yeah way, you're one of the most dangerous people I'm evil. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're like you're like taking. I tell, I tell people I can I tell people I have a conscience, but I lie a lot. I'm just the first to admit it. <laughs> 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 okay, it says meet the guy who turned eighty thousand for Kanye West for president dot com. Eighty thousand? That's still he paid a hundred bucks, bucks, dude. That's like, like that's. It's quite the profit. <laughs> yes, it is. Ten, it, it cost him ten dollars, and then it went to eighty thousand. <laughs> ten dollars, <laughs> man. So ten a ten dollar website gave him eight. So I, I think he sold it for eighty thousand dollars. That's crazy how you can just the the ways people make money these days. You can just fucking come up with anything. Like he created it a long time ago. Oh shit. Okay. Catch like an up and coming rapper and was like coining his fucking name as a website and as soon as he makes it big he's like I'm trying to sell my shit on my own website what the fuck is this shit <laughs> like got you son <laughs> damn ten dollars he got eighty thousand dollars yeah just for putting in some bullshit yep <laughs> some bullshit they could have reworded it and done it on, on his own how long did they, they could have like how long I did don't know put? that's the next like, that's that next research be, like, as soon as like he saw that interview of Kanye announcing it he was like I'm on it <laughs> That's how it has to go, man. Ten dollars. That's how it has Wait. to go. Just yes. this thing. We aired that. No, I think, I think he had it way before then, though. Just like we, we, since we, like college dropout, he's like this motherfucker gonna be president. <laughs> Listen to those words, man. He's up to something. Yeah. <laughs> we aired that the one guy who knew what he was plotting ever since his first album. <laughs> well, it was a wire till now. He's like, I, I will it. say this. I knew that he was crazy because um, if you really listen to the college dropout, he's warning us how he's going to be in the future. Yeah, he's like telling me, like, I'm basically, I speak to God. Yeah, he, he warned. <laughs> Kanye, college dropout was a beast. That was like one of the hardest albums Absolutely. in hip hop history. Yeah. But. When he flipped out and started doing other shit, he was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Kanye? Like, late registration, normal. Yeah, 808s. <laughs> Got a little, all right, we sink a little bit deeper into his psychoticness. But I feel like he touched like a whole different group Those of fans just off of that. that. Now he's got the Christians. Yeah, and now he got... Wow. Man, that is quite... He's got like the best marketing scheme ever. He was like, dude, be a dope rapper. Be a crazy rapper. Okay, we've be explained a, a lot of things about him, but I still am not going to understand the silver suit that he had on that one day and why... He was a Emmy or a Grammy. No. Which one was he? I think he, be tro- he trolls too. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, I think he like likes to get trolled. <laughs> it keeps his uh, name alive. He's like into it. Yeah. He's like, so he's loving this just right wakes now. Up every day and <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think some of them do certain things just so they can just keep the name, like, keep the Google serious. search up. Mm-hmm. Top yeah. Kanye stories of the day. My name better be after a hashtag, or else. Like I, I think the first person to do that was Britney Spears to go crazy and she. Like, I think she, like a lot of that stuff that kept, when she wasn't doing nothing, 
it was keeping her name alive, and then boom, everybody likes to see a comeback. Yeah, you know. And then she opened. <laughs> she took it too far. It I don't know. It looks like she. Loses yeah, I think, like I said, I think that was all. Um, I think that was all me. I don't think that was like some. She was going crazy. I think she was just trying to like figure out how can I still be in the headlines. He's blowing my mind right now, man. Like no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, it? like. It's all this because I'm constantly in your mind. Yeah, you're there. You're there right now. Like you are woke. You are not fucking kidding. <laughs> Jesus. Like I, I, mean, I, I thought she was me. legit going crazy because I see her acting kind of weird still now. Like she. I just think Justin Timberlake fucked her up, dude. Justin, these oh these match Britney yeah oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah they were together yeah. yeah remember then she cheated on him he made that video and then he started dating hotter chicks and she went uh, fucking batshit after that and his career yeah you want to be think cool. about it she she almost made him more famous by being with him and then when he broke up with her everyone was like what someone broke up with Britney Spears and he was like yeah hey! <laughs> she went batshit crazy he was like I'm riding this shit. It did yeah, I just became the sexiest did. man alive because of that shit. Said I'm bringing sex. I wonder back. how much. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder how much like pussy Kevin Federline gets off of just being her baby daddy. I don't know. Probably. Can you imagine if Britney Spears was your baby mama? I think if you're dumb enough to fuck <laughs> Kevin Federline. Yeah. And <laughs> the first serial place, killers. But he got, matter. Honestly, he he basically has a career of just being her baby daddy. Yeah, he was like that's all it is. Like he he can go to Comic Con and set up a booth. <laughs> And have pictures of him. It would just be like guy who fucked famous person once. Yeah, like just shaking hands. That's all because that's all he can do. That's a meet and greet. I, I would take that kind of fame. <laughs> like the that's backup the dancer who married like J Lo. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. Hey, take my backup. <laughs> hey, take my dance classes. Woo -de -woo. I, I, I'm the you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I smashed J-Lo so I have some of For her. For a while. I have some of her energy on me, so I want to <laughs> give that energy to you. Bitch, I've been fucking superstars. <laughs> you ain't shit. Like, give me this pussy. Selling crystals. That's just J Lo's pussy. <laughs> like, cause like candles. Honestly, like, cause <laughs> you you smash J Lo. So like, I mean, you're not getting much higher than that. You're not gonna get that much. That higher is your than peak. That. So you might. As that well. is your like. Hey, that, you you pull when a bitch disses you. Like, look. <laughs> you know who I'm gonna fuck? Bitch. I fuck J Lo. You know what I'm saying? You wear a badge like you're running for yeah. office. <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to ride out the peak pussy for as long as you could. Yeah. Like, definitely. Damn. That, that would suck. just... Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah? But, like, that would be as good as it gets after that. Hmm. And you can get, like, a like Unless a you're lucky enough to, like, be the guy who got famous from fucking someone famous, to only move on to someone more famous. Yeah, but still not having your way. But still not having a career yourself. You think how tricky that must be? Damn, you'd have to be skilled as fuck to be able to pull that. He's off. got like he's, he's doing like the Charlie like, Ch Charlie Day thing with the string. He's like, but I bet you, I bet you celebrity. bitches are curious. Like, damn, yeah. Why did J Lo just throw him the pussy? Dude worked in a fucking bank as a teller. Why is he smashing all these famous people? They probably and then they're probably curious and they smash them. <laughs> Well, look what uh, Ariana Grande did for Pete Davidson. He he blew up a little bit more. You know okay. what I'm talking about? I don't. Pete Davidson is uh, he's on the SNL. Comedian, yeah, yeah, he's on SNL. For he's the one that smokes a lot of weed. Yeah, he's they, they goofy looking up, they motherfucker. Up that quick. Well, he dates nothing but hot chicks. Yeah, that's pretty. So much I it. need to get me a, a hot celebrity. Yeah, let's find out. At least career one. would go I up. Feel like she has to be one. like 20 years younger though. Oh, okay. How old are you? That makes okay, it I'm 32 though. Okay, so you, that's she's gotta be 12. Damn! <laughs> <Wow. laughs> yeah. Out the door. Yeah. Ew. Give it a little bit. <laughs> Give it a little bit. At least that makes me feel like I'm still I'm still young. Like you know. Yeah. Yeah, I can't go 20 years back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's, that's a, a good, good thing. That's a good way to. That like, should be the way a lot of people <laughs> look out at there. You. Should probably register what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Some least people don't. <laughs> I, 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 I already, I already feel old. Oh, this one girl, um, I was partying, and she was like, I, "We're doing like selfies." And right before the selfie, she was like, "You used to work with my mom." I was like, "Not no more." She was a superstar. She was, yeah. she was grown, but like, you know what I mean? She was young. Yeah. And I was like, "Damn." I'm getting old, but when you break it down like that, 20 years back, I guess I'm not that old. Okay, what about 20 years older? 
somebody. Oh, yeah. Is. I mean, I've been doing that for years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. That happens, yeah. right? Yeah. Happens. So who would it be? Oh, at, oh, as far as celebrity? I think if anybody's. Who do you have your eye on? Honestly, that would, I, 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 have a, I, feel, I have a feeling like with it being older, it would actually do more than if it was a young. Sure. You well, know they're established I mean? actresses. Halle Berry automatically. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it would be Halle Berry. And I would have to... Because uh, I'm not going to name names, but I have messed with celebrities before. But Halle we'll, Berry... We'll talk about it after the show. Yeah, we'll talk about yeah. it. Make sure I'm recording. <laughs> that, yeah. but, Keep uh, rolling. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Halle Berry, I, I'll definitely get like some type of snap and let that shit leak out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you, you would have to. I'll get like, famous. You would have to. Something no, something more meek. Like put it I'll, on Deviant Art. Yeah, <laughs> like something where nobody really pays attention. You have yeah. to like Google search. Go. To I'll page shoot up the club. Like I would just shoot up the club. Like <laughs> I'm trying to think of another actress. I would definitely go for some Shannon Elizabeth. Yeah. I mean, uh, I say I, I say Halle Berry, but realistically, John and Michaels. Right on. You know what I'm saying? The workout chick. Uh, am, am I saying her name right? I don't know. I think oh. that's who it is. Though. You're talking about the workout, the workout chick, chick, right? The is it has work- all the workout videos and shit. I don't know. It has a bunch of infomercials. You see her constantly on TV. Where's my phone? Janet Michaels, huh? I said G- Gianna. Oh, or Gianna Michaels. Gianna Are you talking Michaels. about the porn star? Yeah, her. Oh, okay. Her all I'm day. Not, I don't know who that is. Well, you, what? She's a porn star. Of course, I know who she is. Come on. <laughs> You don't? No, I'm that guy that's yeah, like, yeah, that's me and Khalifa. You're John and Michaels, on a side note. Halle Berry, just because it's convenient and easy. But you haven't seen her skills. Like, you've, yeah. seen, you've seen John and Michaels. John and Michaels skills. is like, oh my God. This is just what I do on camera. You should see what I do. <laughs> like, yeah, she, she's just what really see. turns me on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine the weird things you'd have to do to turn a porn star on. What if it was like just cuddle? I think uh, <clears throat> I would be I'd be okay with that I still wouldn't get asked I'm a weird dude that watch porn star interviews and <laughs> from what I've seen it's different they say that um, on camera a lot of this shit is like acting you yeah. know what I'm saying and you gotta you gotta do it at a certain angle yeah and so it's not like regular sex. flipping their hair so that face is all camera you know what I mean yeah yeah and then you gotta you gotta make sure they, they see everything going in yeah you know what I mean that angle is not like a comfortable angle it's all twisted that's gonna be hard <laughs> for like a really really hardcore porn though uh, I think that's just pretty much like the camera all right goes. on take two you're not spitting your mouth enough <laughs> <laughs> Right. And I think on the squirting ones, I think they fill them up with like some type of water. You can't. I make girls squirt, but not like that. Yeah, I've, I've never. Well, all the ones that can do porn. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why they're gifted. As soon as they figure it out, they're like, yeah. productions. They're gifted with a. With yeah, a no, I believe that. Hair. I believe that. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure people with like big, you know, someone. Recommends them like, hey, man. if I could, if I could shoot a low twenty five feet, I'd be famous as fuck right now. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. just be doing it as like party guys, or just get it hard whenever you need to. Like, yeah. just, just turn it on. Like, yeah, if you knew that you had that, someone's yeah. gonna tell you like, hey, that's not normal. Yeah, you need to start fucking on camera. Like, yeah, yeah. get it, yeah. get it on, bro. Like that's what the doctor prescribes you. <clears throat> yeah, you just need to do more porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't. I need couldn't to do porn. I would love it in my head. It would be like a cool job. It's still completely different from just recording yourself and just, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not the same, for one, because you're already talking about angles. And I need stories for me to get going. I don't know why, but I need to, I need to know, like, how these two people met. <laughs> like, if there was, like, if there was, like, a I can't do that, that rolled before that you could read of, like, the scenario, and then it just went straight to fucking evil. Like, can, can you imagine if we had access to porn like we did, like, when we was kids? Like, like the way I'd be a deviant, now. dude. <laughs> You would? I'd go- be a deviant. Like, my sexual life would just be completely fucked if I was introduced to any other porn that uh, I see now when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't see enough you jokes. Because that- you- now it's like you can Google search whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We used to have to, okay, let me fast forward like speci- to... Yeah, and there was, like, specific websites for each type of that. There was no, like... That wouldn't give you a virus, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> It didn't make you put a credit card number in it. It's, it's been like, a while oh, since I had to prove yeah! it. Yeah! Oh, and, then you'd be like, and then you'd wait, and you'd be like, word. If you want to see more, <laughs> hey, can I have that? I need to keep that. <laughs> Dude, I got something going. You're going to like what I'm about to do with this. Do it, do it. Dude, I never, I never thought about that. 
<laughs> Remember when we was this dog? I could break that whole. I'm about to break that down into a whole joke. Do it, do it, dog. You remember the kind of shit that we used to have to go Wait, to? Did I just become a writer? Yes. You, yeah. Yes. So you was online. I had my grand. I lo- I moved into my grandfather's uh, house after he passed away with my grandma, and I found a lot of his like porno. I mean, not his uh playboys and hustlers. And so, I remember flipping through the pages, and then I remember finding tapes, and I remember Kama Sutra. Yeah, I remember that. It I was like Hindu like, type shit. Just little drawings. Now, that was, you know what, that was kind of a little bit more, fr- they were doing some freaky shit on that. <laughs> um, yeah, if your grandparents were in the Yeah, the you're Kama not going to find them. Yeah. 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 For one, props to them because they're super flexible at that age. Yeah, what sucks is um, I found a Kama Sutra like tape, and I went. I was like jacking off, right? I was in sixth grade. And I was like twelve years old. This is like I'm new to jacking off, right? And I started going hard and hard, and I went. Pah! I heard a pop. I kept going. Oh, and I was like, "What is this?" I turned the light. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> I circumcised my shit. <laughs> I was like, fuck. And uh, it made a sound? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? You can't go to your mom or your no. grandma and say, hey, I was jacking off and I ripped my skin. You just let that. Be- you beat my dick so hard, I, I ruined it. And then, so I thought I broke my shit. That's why you met that Jewish lady, huh? Um, no, I met her because I, I was working in the mall. But. <laughs> that story sucks. <laughs> I wish I could make it into a that you into a joke. Into you could just change it into that. Man. I wish I could make no. I really, really wish I could make it. It's it's too gruesome. Leave, and leave this podcast with two jokes, man. <laughs> no, nah, I'm definitely using the uh, the porn site one. The porn site one. Because think about it. Like I, I'd have put so many viruses on my mom's computer when I was a kid. Uh, one time I went to fatgirls.com and it left a screensaver. I did not know how to take out the screensaver. <laughs> I was like, man, mom, me and my friends, while you was at work, we was playing on the computer, and one of them we went on back. Uh, was like, one of them, one of your friends. Yeah. yeah. Was you alone? It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I Blaming remember it on people. <laughs> I remember, I like, I couldn't get that bitch to get off the fucking Frank screen. comes over, like, dude, what's your mom's problem? Be like, I don't know, man. That's the kid you blamed it on. Your mom's just being cold. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good joke. So, <laughs> yeah. No, but I remember I just couldn't get the screen. I know how to get screensavers off, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but back then. Did she show you? No. <laughs> no. I worked for Apple for like four years. But we're not having this happen again. This is how you delete it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, remember you used to call the phone numbers, too. Yep. You had like mm. three minutes off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember if you just hit a bunch of numbers, they accept it. Sometimes it's a credit card and like you, I don't, I didn't experience and you would that. get a you would get a random amount of time like you have credit 54 cards four minutes and then just you could do that back in the day with credit cards though because yeah. it wasn't all that popular not everybody had credit card now everyone's got like all types of fucking credit cards and different ways to pay you can pay with your phone yeah so yeah, with your pay. watch and shit fuck it just imagine walking up to somebody as they're like paying for their gas or something at the store and you have your phone what? Like, <laughs> just paid for both of them your porn website and like fucking damn. You be slick. I remember when the internet first came out, we were printing the pictures out because I still wasn't used to just jerking off to a screen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would print the pictures out. Oh shit! Oops. That was <laughs> funny. Yeah, but like, are we good? Four we hours good? later. There you go. Man, four yeah. hours. It later. happens like once every three it. episodes. But like, I remember printing them out and hiding them under my mattress, and my mom found them. She's like, "Where'd you get these from?" I was like, "Well, I printed them." She's like, no, really, like, where'd they come from? The internet. She's like, m- her mind was blown that they just came out of nowhere, basically. Like, they didn't exist, and now they exist, and I had porn in my bed. Does that make sense? Like, she, yeah. she her mind was the blown. The time period. Yeah. yeah, her mind was more blown about the internet than the fact that I was hiding porn under my bed. She's like, wow. I, like, got away with it because she was like, wow, I didn't know you were good with computer. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. She's been going to school. He's been that BCIS. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's I'm learning. So, I'm so proud of him, but at the same time, disgusted. <laughs> Yeah, I think she was just more shaming me because of the type of women I chose to jerk off to. That's mom for me, though. Damn. She just calls me out on bad women all the time. She's like, you can do better. My son is <laughs> going through the little sticky The sticky phase, yeah. He phase. just He's found himself. 
Yeah, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he gets all weird when I try to talk to him about it, so I just left it alone. You know, and he's. he's just be as brutal and upfront as possible. Like, hey, do you beat your dick? And then just wait. So like, we get all like. Shy. I already. <laughs> just be like, yeah, all right, so this is when it's cool to do it, and this is when it's not cool to do <laughs> That's it. That's basically so, all you need to tell him. Put a sock in the door if you're doing it, so I know leave the fuck alone. I don't want to watch it, I don't want to see it, I don't want to catch it. Like, just. Bro code, man. Yeah. Create a bro code of you and your son. You be taking forty five minute sh- showers. I was like, you know, if what? there's a certain song that you like to jack off to, play it. So I know <laughs> play. Man, I'm like, my thing is, why you got to do it in the shower? Easy cleanup. It goes down the drain. <laughs> yes. How have you not thought of that? <laughs> I mean, we got two restrooms. <laughs> Did that for I get it. Yeah, of course I've done it in the shower, but why you got to do it in the shower knowing that all of us got to like you got a room, you can just do it in the room. What you got a room with a lock. Then you have to like clean up and shit. True. See, I like to, I I, I got to be comfortable. You know? <laughs> it's so, like you do pillows, candles and shit. The pillows just right Damn the near. Bed. I don't do candles, but I pretty I much choke myself. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, man, I got to use both hands. Pillows right. Hey. Lines gotta be right. Yeah, man, something. I just locked the door. I don't care. Windows up. Fuck it. If I, so, get, if uh, I get caught. I so, know uh, I, I know we're still doing this, but do y'all want to try to do a live deal somewhere? Yeah. Absolutely. We already have one place in mind, but. Yeah, there's a place that we have in mind. Okay. You were talking about. Yeah, I remember we talked, and I was like, we can definitely do that. Yeah. I want to do it. It's just this in front of people. I think it would go great. Okay. (laughs) We can involve the people. The people need to be like a talk show. Yeah, basically. You know what I'm saying? If you might might get a QA. Yeah. And you can start off by just that shit can grow. Yeah. Absolutely. I think people will support y'all pretty badass. I think think him (laughs) saying that. Means he had I, fun, right? I, I think you had fun. Was, this was, was fun, right? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like y'all should do a live. Yeah, podcast. absolutely. I appreciate that. Shit. Fuck yeah, man. That's basically what our podcast is. Just understand, with, yeah. Just, just yeah. Just understand it's something that's gonna have to grow. Absolutely, you know what I mean? we got to do something to grow. We got to get out of this pocket. Sometimes. But it's gonna it's gonna start off with like your family and friends just supporting. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then from there, it'll just grow. You know what I saw yesterday? What some dude took a whole bunch of his chick's friends and his friends to open mic yesterday it was his first time would you have done that don't do that i don't recommend that yeah I, I, but he I actually probably, did well i probably did i i've done it when i was new yeah but um i don't recommend that any new comic bring people yeah to open mic let's wait for you to get like a solid five to ten minutes that's fucking funny yeah because uh scripture says a friend uh, your friends loveth at all times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your friends, your they're always going to be supportive and shit. Yeah, your friends at the office are gonna. They think that you're hilarious. Yeah, you know what I mean. Even if you suck, they're gonna laugh anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Your family's not gonna let you down. You need to make strangers laugh. Go ahead and get established first as a comedian. Yeah. Not so much established, but get a couple open mics underneath your belt, and then wait for you to get booked. Yeah. To invite your family and friends. The reason why I say don't invite a whole bunch of people to open mic is really because your friends and family are going to come out to open mic and they're going to buy drinks and you're not going to get paid off that shit. Yeah. That's why. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just more of a get yourself comfortable feature. To me, the whole open mic thing and bringing friends, it's very unprofessional. I get it because I did it, but I regret that I did it. Yeah. There's some people that have never, that still have not been back to see me since I first started. You know what I mean? Like, I'm Well, like, yeah, there's that too because now you saw them do open mic and they're like, I've already seen you. Yeah, they, they, won't, they won't take you serious. Yeah. So if the first thing that they take, you bring them to, like, oh shit, this is legit. Like, whoop do whoop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. 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 So it hits. I don't recommend. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt. You can bring people, but that's just my personal view. Yeah, it because we can. Um, it's not about how funny you are. Yeah, it's not about. It. It's about numbers. Let's be real. <laughs> it's always a saying? business, right? It's about no numbers. matter what. It's a business. You're an entrepreneur in a yeah. sense. So like, I'm, I know it sounds like I'm bragging, but. 
I personally believe that, that big dick I'm, energy. I personally, I, I personally can argue this, and I strongly believe I'm one of the number one comics in the city. Do I think I'm the funniest comic in the city? No. Do I think I'm one of the funniest comics in the city? No. We got but some funny motherfuckers. There's a lot of talented, funny people out here. Yeah. In these streets in San Antonio, that are ten times funnier than me. They just don't know how to market themselves. They don't know how to hustle. Right. They don't know how to grind. Um, they don't. They don't. They, to them, it's a hobby. They do it for fun. And there's nothing wrong Which is with. Fine, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it being a hobby. But for you, you it's not. Saying? For you, it's not. For, for me, you, it's not. You know, it's a living. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I don't have a day job. You know, what I'm saying I'm a single father. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> I'm a single father, so I have to uh, say hello to YouTube. By the way. <laughs> Say hello, wave. It's right there. Right there. There you go. No, nah, but I have to. Um, I have to answer yeah. to my kids, and I have to explain why I can't. I can't afford this. Yeah. And so, um, you know, because I can't afford this, because I want to go drink Lone Star <laughs> at the bar and tell joke shitty jokes. You know. What I'm yeah. Saying? Like, so. I, what I also teach other comics on the side as my side hustle yeah. is I teach uh, not just comics but entertainers how to uh, make money off of doing something that they love. Right. You know what I mean? That way, you're not going to make a lot of money right away. But, but you got to start somewhere. Yeah, I can guarantee that. And you're still. I can make. I, I can make any entertainer money. Even at know? this point, you're still working. Yeah, you I'm still, still work the club. You know. Yeah, like I'm it. still learning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I go to jokesters. Yeah. I go out there and bark, even though I don't have to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have people that come see me, but I just do it because I want to uh, set an example on how to come up. You know. Everyone. Uh, everyone I've spoken to getting out there has been super great about like oh everybody has something good listen to that you know what i mean there you go listen to that don't listen to every single word each comic is giving you and take it to heart because it's you're still going to you still want to be you yeah you know you still want to do this your way but like, yeah and if a comic doesn't have the gift i have which is i'm a very people purpose person i can connect with people right. i can uh do business yeah if that's not like that person's skill that let's say that dude knows how to do graphics he can start making flyers in the comedy community. Right. Because comics don't really have... That's how he can get on shows. Yeah. It's... Um, oh, we're thinking of sketches and all that shit, too. We yeah. have editing skills. We're doing sound, cool. all that stuff. Marketing already. Boom. So, you know what I'm saying? He can hit up, he can hit up Irma or a promoter and say, hey, uh, I'll do your flyer for free. Uh, just give me five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck it. You know, what I used to do was like, hey, uh, my name is Clifton Simmons. Um... I can pack out your uh, venue. You know what I'm saying? I only got five minutes, but I can pack it out. You know what I'm saying? And so I got booked right away. Yeah. And it wasn't that I got booked right away. I started actually throwing my own shows. Right. That's, that's another thing I highly recommend uh, comics <coughs> do is if you're not getting booked like the way you want it, do you yourself. book your own shows. And what happens is people <clears> see <throat> people constantly see you doing shows or they're like, damn, he's getting booked. Or... If you do shows and I do shows, I'll have you on my show, and then you do uh, you do you know what I mean? Vice yeah. versa. Keep yeah, keep. I do your you. show. Bring each other up. Yeah, so. community. I love it. It's a it's a business, and some people don't really don't know how to do business. So um, <laughs> he's not lying. Like I said, no, that goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. He's he's not not lying. and I do it. I I do think I'm funny, uh, and I enjoy my I enjoy my stuff. But like, there's a lot of talent that I do see in the comedy scene. That, that would, could be out there. Yeah, that are way. I've seen it too. Like, I can tell. Some, or some of them, they're great writers, but they're horrible performers. Yeah. Like, if I had a great writer, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. I wouldn't be sitting in y'all's podcast right now. <laughs> That's how. I will say, hard. Right, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody in the city is fucking with my, uh, my stage presence. Yeah. I can argue that. Now, my joke yeah, writing. Get, yeah. No, there's there's a way more people that can write. You've also had time with your time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You've had a good amount of time and it pays off. It, yeah. it pays bills. Um any advice I can give to a new comic that you know, keep it like a hobby, there's nothing wrong with keeping it like a hobby. But if you can get paid for your hobby, get paid for your hobby. Okay. But understand that you gotta go through you're gonna go through like a some bullshit and um 
Again, you have to mentally prepare yourself for that. Yeah, period. like I, you know, what I mean, you. It's what you're willing to sacrifice. Like I, I left. You're making a mess. I left good <laughs> job. I, I, I left high paying jobs to drive out of town to go perform for two hundred dollars and drive back to San Antonio with the possibilities of not having a job. You were happy though. Yes. <laughs> yes and no. I mean. <laughs> Well, looking back at it now, if you was to ask me, would I do that again? Probably not. <laughs> like, look a different venue. Yeah, on a better day. Yeah, like there you go. I'm talking about like you're putting it. I mean, it's paid off now. Yeah, I got both of my kids. I'm a single dad. You know what I mean, and I'm able to do comedy. But a lot of those are risk that I took. That there's a good chance I could not. There, there's, there would have been chance. Older me, I was 21 when I started. Yeah. Me at 32 years old, I'm like, hell no. I'm starting at 32. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Me at 32 years old. So any type of move that you make yeah. at 32, yeah. it has to be strategic moves. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We we can't. Well, you have any kids? Oh, so you're good. You can still I can do whatever. You, you can do all kind of drugs. Yeah. You can, you can go to L.A. Yeah. No, you're good. You're I good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Yeah. Even if you did, even if you did have kids, you know what I'm saying. You would have to make a conscious decision. Like, do I want to? Like how he said that holding is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, even if you did have kids, because I had to, I had to battle with this. I could. Uh, I'm supposed to be in LA right now. I'm supposed to be in New York right now. I had to make uh, the executive decision. Okay, so my son could go with his mom. My daughter can go to her godmother or can go to my mom. I can sign my rights over. Right. I can go to L.A. or New York and thug it out and live on someone's couch. Couple weeks. How Couple long? weeks. Yeah. But even I no for like for like maybe a year. Okay. I could pay three hundred dollars to live on someone's couch, or I could pay fifteen hundred dollars and get me a room. Yeah. A room, literally a room. It's a cube. And struggle and start all over. Yeah. You don't do that. And kind of miss out on like certain things they got going on and uh them hate me later on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well that's regardless. I didn't get enough attention, Daddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I have millions. Like I know it's one of those I know it's, this part sounds cocky, but I know for sure let's go to LA. Being around the energy of everybody, yeah, like, grinding, yeah, I would, I would level up. Yeah, I know for sure, for sure. What you know, I would putting, putting yourself out, knowing there, how yeah. I network, yeah, I, I know I will make it. But you gotta think, people, I, uh, people that have been, people that go to LA usually don't start out with shit. And a lot of times they don't have the material that you already have. Yeah, yeah. Is it gonna work? And uh, yeah, yeah. And so I know, I know this. So I decided. I'm staying in San Antonio. We were talking before your podcast. Right. Look how look how we're living right now. Yeah. We wouldn't live like this in New York and LA. No. I mean, we could fit like... We live, we live nice years. out here. Yeah. I got a big ass Perfect. apartment. Well, my cousin lives in New York. I'm sure there's got an extra space for me to stay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I have the same thing, but think about it, though. <laughs> I ain't trying to do it. Like, no, fuck that. Craziness. Can you guys been raising your kids in New York? Nope. A shot of Kentucky Deluxe is eleven bucks. A shot of <laughs> Jack Daniels is sixteen bucks. Well, if anything, my kids wouldn't drink. It's too expensive. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, you know what I mean, though. We live like we, good luck smoking twenty two bucks a pack. Only way I would move to L.A. or New York if I'm going there with something already. Yeah. Ready? I'm not gonna go and thug it out. No need. Build your um, name here, become well known here. So we'll and visit those places, and then show them because of what you built here, as opposed to just getting what you need to get started here and then going and starting. Or do what do whatever else. works for you. I mean, it would be it also be smarter than that. I'm established here. Let me go ahead and move to uh, Houston or something, or Dallas to, uh, to another major city and get established there and then get established there and go to another city that would be smart of me to crawl your way up the states 
Yeah, that would be kind of smart. Yeah, but, but I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> just tour. <laughs> just tour. Do yourself. I'm, I'm, we're going to Houston. I get to bring the kids with me. There you go. So I'm about to get paid to go on a vacation with my kids. That's Yay. dope. That's dope. No, but seriously, it does. Just happy about it. It's bullshit. If you get, if you can get past the bullshit, like you're gonna get shows that are like fifty bucks. A hundred dollars, free liquor, free food, whatever, something like twenty dollars. Yeah, no, no pay. It's like that for a long, 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 long time. And then one day, you've been doing comedy for so long that you develop like a fan base. Not only you develop a fan base, you develop like certain play. You need to go potty. All right, the restroom's going to be to the right, right there. Oh, to the the left, left. right there. All right. Commercial break. You got this. Um, nah, it just it just pay it, it pays off eventually, and it's pretty cool. I never. I'm literally living my dream, man. Fuck yeah. My dude. coach, my high school coach, told I, me I was sitting in that chair and I slammed my hand on the desk while he was playing video games, and I said, "I'm just starting my dream." Hey. I fucking love it. Hey. I think I think we talked about it on the phone earlier. I was like, "Dude, they're laughing." I they, I had to laugh, pause, like you know what I mean, like. I had to stop talking for a minute. I was like, whoa. And that didn't even hit me until the next morning. I was like, that shit actually fucking happened. And that dude, I was like in love with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, boom. What's it's crazy like, is one of my high school coaches, he told me, hey, Simmons, you're not going to amount to nothing. <laughs> I love these talks. Joking all, around, joking all the time and smoking weed all day. Well, Fuck during the daytime. You. Yeah. I drive for this thing called Favor, where people do deliveries. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do blunt cruises all oh, day. We have a skit for that, by the way. You're oh! Just, oh! You're definitely going to have to be a part of that skit. now. <laughs> it's it's going to be great. I'll, I'll wear, I'll, wait, what, it's it's going to be great. Yeah, I'll, wear the, like, I'll, I'll wear the shirt, Wear too, the shirt, yeah. And the hat. You'll get fired. I'll fuck probably it. get fired yeah. from it. <laughs> but fuck it. There's DoorDash. There's DoorDash and everything, so you're good. But we do. We have an amazing skit. You're going to have to be a part of let's that. Let's shoot now. it tomorrow. <laughs> I work a double. Okay, let's shoot we'll, it. We'll schedule it, but we need to Monday. find We need to find one more person. What days you off? Uh, I'm off Tuesdays. Tuesday and Thursday. All right, Tuesday, we'll do it on Tuesday Thursday. and the weekends. We can do Thursday. All right, let me get this freestyle and then I'm out. All right. All right. All right. What beat? Wait, 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 wait. Switch. Oh. We're oh. switching. Yeah. Where's that? Because I got a pad. We had a long, long chest. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to be here that long. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> 